Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a ladies match scheduled for one fall. The referee is D. Myers. <laughs> Accompanied to the ring by the straight cat, Rudy Ray Chase. And hailing from Venice Beach, California. <laughs> Melissa Coates. Shut up! Palmer, I know what you're thinking. You think that you're going to cause my delicious morsel of sexy goodness to come out here and wrestle some wannabe because you want it. You tell them, Brody. The fact of the matter is this. My fans, all these people who love me. I love Brody. Aren't going to let some mark with a checkbook call the shots around here. Melissa, you're not wrestling Daphne tonight. I'm wrestling Daphne tonight. That's the better matchup. I think you put your heaviest hitter in there against Daphne. So you can all put that in your pop and smoke it. I love Brody. He is such a great guy. If I had a vote for Time Man of the Year, I'd give it to Brody Ray Chase. Mr. Chase. Oh, here we go. Home record talking this again. This ain't one of your YouTube matches again. Hey, hey, hey. You don't want to go there tonight, buddy. This ain't one of your YouTube matches against Arn Anderson or Ric Flair, buddy. This is NWA Anarchy. But after discussion with Daphne, got a proposition for you. You can have your match against her, but Brody, if you lose, you stay away from her for a month. I mean, stay away. And hey, hey, when I say stay away, I mean no physical contact, no mental contact, no text messages, no MySpace, no homing pigeons, boy. You understand that? Nothing. You want a shot at her? She don't appear to be too scared. The whole idea was to show Melissa what an athlete, what a pro wrestler can still be a woman and not be badgered by a jackass like you. Now there is 
no such talk right there. There is no reason for that kind of talk. For her yet. But this lady right here said she'll be more than happy to accommodate you. If it takes that to get you away from her, she's on board. I don't have a problem with it. Cornelia Georgia, is that okay with you? Let me tell you something, Palmer. I don't know who you think you are or what you're going to do, but you keep running your mouth. Tonight, bad things are going to happen to you. So you want to make your little stipulations? You want to come out here and tell her where she's going and what she's going to do? Let me tell you something. She belongs to me. I agree. You would. She's my property. I own what you see. Bought and paid for. What you're looking Good. at belongs to me. So you want to make a little stipulation, you get it for a month. You think for one second she can beat me? Oh, well, if you believe in that, how about this? Once I beat her, she goes home with me for tonight. Oh, 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 oh. that'll be the... Let's face it, Daphne. I see it in your eyes. You want it and you know it. That'll be the most exciting night of Daphne's life. I can smell it on you. Oh, it's on. You got it. Looks like you got yourself a match, Paul. I hope Daphne brought her seatbelt because she's getting ready to ride the Great American Scream Machine. Good <laughs> grief. Well, folks, this was scheduled to be Melissa Coates versus Daphne. But they didn't get Brody's permission. I, for some reason, don't believe they need Brody's permission. Instead, Instead, we have Brody Ray Chase versus Daphne. And one has to keep in mind here, Daphne is no stranger to competing against either gender. She's the former WCW Cruiserweight Champion of the World. But, and you know, like I said, it's the Scream Queen on the Great American Scream Machine. She'll be able to scream all she wants, Greg Hunter. <laughs> You see the lust in her eyes. You see, I mean, look at her size up, Brody. Lust and disgust seem to look a whole lot alike. Maybe she should just lay down her back and let Brody pin her. Oh, good grief. The crowd here is behind the Scream Queen as the owner of NWA Anarchy, true to his word, is in her corner. Now, we must put forward the stipulation. Oh, good. Did you uh, see her try to kiss him? No, she tried to kiss him. No, not, not quite. The stipulation here is as such. If Daphne wins, then Melissa Coates will have no contact with Brody Ray Chase for a month. Brody Ray Chase is banned. What? Did I also hear that she goes with Jerry Palmer for 30 days? Well, she has no contact with... Brody Ray Chase for 30 days. Brody Ray Chase has to stay away from her. And frankly, she has seemed to want to leave with Jerry more than once when the offer was put forward. So I would certainly assume that that is what would happen. Has Palmer had his shots? Oh. Okay, we're not even gonna go there. Jerry Palmer's a family man and we both know it. Oh yeah, he's a family man lusting after Melissa oh, Coates. Good grief. He just wants to see to it that this young lady is given a fair chance in the sport of professional re Oh, good God. Uh, I apologize, even though this is on Anarchy Home Video, I apologize. She's just playing what? hard to get. Oh, sure. Well, right now, side headlock takeover. I would be remiss if I did not point out that should Brody Ray Chase prove victorious here, that Daphne will have to go home with the Great American Scream Machine for a night. That'll be the greatest night of her life. Um, somehow I doubt that heavily. She'll never be the same. No, that, that I can agree with. As right now, well, uh, I would go so far as to say that the machine is indeed screaming, and it is courtesy it is courtesy of the former WCW World's Cruiserweight Champion. 
it is worth noting that these two have faced off before. And Brody Ray Chase was victorious. See, I told you Daphne can't get enough. Oh, good grief. Daphne came here tonight to face Melissa Coach. She did not come here to face Brody Ray Chase again as the stray cat just throws her away. Throws her away on that gorilla press slam. Good and grief. This is and disgusting. This is not just, this is great. You know what? Daphne asked for this. She wanted so hard to spend the night with Brody Ray Chase. All she had to do was return his phone calls. This Brody Ray Chase. Brody Ray Chase. Oh, good Lord. He cover two. And Brody Ray Chase is complaining that the referee's count is too, it, it's too fast. Okay. Well, you know I what, that, that's Brody Ray Chase and um, fair play. Oh, sure it is, spinning neck breaker. I also think I heard him say something about liking it slow, but we're not gonna go there if we can help it. And right now, the stray cat, Brody Ray Chase, with a definite advantage here. Cover, one, two. Yeah. Taking as much time to critique a referee as he is trying to wrestle a match. Greg Hunter, you know what, let me tell you something. The Great American Screen Machine is open all night long. This man right here, he, he's like the Energizer Bunny. He just keeps going and going and going and going and going. And right now. And going. And right now, Daphne finds herself in the proverbial tree of woe. Oh, good Lord. And in the grips of love at the same time. This is ridiculous. He, oh, good Lord. This, if you could be disqualified, suspended on grounds of adult content, it would have happened a long time ago in this contest. Boom! To the face by Daphne. Daphne up and over. Beautiful maneuver, too. And only a two count. You're going to need more than that to beat the, the Brody Ray Chase, the stray cat. It's going to take more than some kind of flippity flop around from some broad like Daphne to beat Brody Ray Chase. And right now, you can see Jerry Palmer talking to Melissa. And we can hear from here saying, why are you putting up with this? Pointing out what is going on as Brody Ray Chase has, has Daphne up. Sit out power bomb. This should be all cover. Rather disgusting pen. And Brody Ray Chase sees Jerry Palmer talking to Melissa Coates. Well, because Jerry Palmer is a home wrecker. Look at him trying to drive a wedge between, between Melissa Coates and Brody Ray Chase. You can't break up love. Oh, good. These Great. guys are going to go down like Romeo and Juliet. For the record, they died at the end of the story. Right now, Brody Ray Chase, not at all happy with what's going on, and he's letting it distract him. Jerry Palmer getting in his face. Now, what does Jerry Palmer got to do to distract Brody Ray Chase? Jerry Palmer is defending a woman. Oh, wait a minute. Roll up, two, three, that's it. <laughs> She doesn't want to go. She does not want to go. Melissa Coates is shivering. She's mad at Jerry. She doesn't want to go. Jerry's forcing her to go. That's BSJJ, and you know it. Oh, my God. I'm disgusted, I'm sick. Oh, wait just a second! Brody Ray Chase just cold cocked an NWA official! Now wait just a second! Hey. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for that, big man. Let me tell you something a little special. Let me tell you something a little special. Hey, let me tell you something you just done. 
Man, I thought it couldn't get any better. Hot action in here tonight. Seeing you get beat, and we ain't even halfway there. Maybe you missed, maybe you missed the memo, Brody. We don't touch officials in NWA Anarchy, pal. Oh, no. So, you got to stay away from her for a month now. I'm going to help you out because in addition to that, you are hereby for striking an official of NWA Anarchy suspended for a month. Have a good month, Oh, man. He oh. just struck an NWA official and just earned himself a one-month vacation. Why are you so happy? Oh. The man just lost everything. His job, his woman, and all because of that home wrecker, Jerry Palmer. Great, ain't it? Bright night to Shut up. Pit moments.